Once you get everything uploaded, then we can go over to whatever URL you uploaded these things to. And if you d direct your browser to that URL, it'll come up with a screen like this, where it says WordPress Mew, installing WordPress Mew, blah, 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 what do you need? And I'm going to take you through everything you need, so you don't have to really worry about reading it. If you want to, go for it. But what I do is I choose subdomains for my blog addresses, and so it's going to come up like whatever your blog name is, or in this case, since you're using the Atomic Remix suite, it's whatever the product name is, dot example, which would be your url.com and so it would be uh, let's say remix suite dot pure toolkit.com could be one of the, uh, the the addresses for the atomic remix suite so you can choose sub subdomains or subdirectories it's not a big deal which one you choose I prefer subdomains just because it looks better uh, it does add a little bit of SEO ability to your uh, public blogs but it's not a huge deal in the end and so I just like the way that subdomains look but you can use either of them uh, under database, we're going to actually go over to our HostGator cPanel, and if you're signed up for HostGator, you can uh, get your cPanel information from the email that they sent you after you signed up. If you're not signed up for HostGator, again, I recommend that, and it's one of the only hosting companies that I'll recommend. However, your company should be using cPanel, and if they're not, then find out whatever control panel they're using, and uh, find out from them how you set up a database. But I'm going to show you on cPanel how that works. You're going to get into your HostGator control panel and you're going to scroll down and do MySQL database wizard. And what we're going to do is we're going to name the database first. And so you can name it anything you want. I prefer to name it something with a domain name in it. And so in this case, my domain name is teammanaged.com. And so I'm going to say next database, new database is team managed. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it WordPress MU. You can name it WPMU. You can name it whatever your domain name is. You can name it ASDFJKL if you want. It's not a, it's not a big deal as long as you can remember it. Click next step. And notice that it says added to the database. And then in this one it says flurry underscore team managed. And what that does is it actually sets up a different name than you typed in because in order for the name to be unique on the database server it has to have some kind of prefix that denotes it to you specifically and so if you and I are on the same server and we both name our database WordPress that would be a problem if it didn't add a little prefix here and so in this case it added flurry for my prefix I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna pop back over to the uh, the WordPress install here database name Flurry team manage. Username. Next thing we want to put in. Username, I'm going to say team man because it's seven characters maximum. Um, and again, it's going to do the same thing with the flurry on the username because they don't want any username collisions. Password. I always just do generate password because it's easier. I'm going to copy that, click use password, click OK, and click next step. Then we're going to pop back over here. We're going to enter in the password for the username. If I flip back over here, you can see that it flurry team man was the username, and so I'm going to do that. Database host, leave it at localhost. Unless you know otherwise that your database host is not localhost, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that it's localhost. Go ahead and leave it there. We're going to scroll down, server address. This is just going to be the URL of your site. Chances are it's already going to be in there. No big deal. Site title. This is going to be the title of your site. And so for the pureprofittoolkit.com WordPress MU install, I just named it the Pure Profit Toolkit. Uh, you can name it anything you want. This one I'm just going to leave at teammanaged.com blogs because this is actually just a test site. I'm not, I'm not actually going to use it. And then for email, you can put anything you want in here. And in this case, I'm going to put support at jasondevelvis.com. .com. <laughs> then we want to come back over here and we've got to add the user to the database. What you're going to do is click the checkbox beside all privileges and click next step. And this actually links your user and your database together. And that way when we come back over here and click submit, it'll actually set up your site properly. If you don't have it, it'll give you a big error saying something about the user doesn't have access to the database or can't find the database or something like that. So make sure that on your HostGator side, you get to this page where it says step four, completed the, complete the task. So now WordPress Mew is installed. It says installation finished. It says congratulations. It doesn't have an error. This is how you know that it's installed correctly. So the next problem we have is it says warning wildcard DNS may not be configured correctly. And what that means is that if you're using subdomains, 
we have to do a little bit of extra stuff in our cPanel in order to get the subdomains to work properly. So we're going to go back over to HostGator. I'm going to click Home. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says Subdomains. I'm going to click on Subdomains. Subdomain, I'm going to use star.teammanaged.com. And then document root is going to be public HTML slash teammanaged.com because I know that I want it all to go into the teammanaged.com folder. If you've got your domain set up as an add-on domain, you're going to want to do it this way as well. If you just do it to public HTML, it's going to go to just the root. If you signed up for HostGator with the URL, say if I signed up for HostGator with teammanaged.com then I don't need teammanage.com on the end of here. All I need is public HTML. But I didn't. I signed up with flurrymarketing.com. So I need teammanage.com on the end of here because it's an add-on domain, and that's where I uploaded the files. Pretty much, you're going to want this path right here to go to whatever shows up here in your Fire FTP account, wherever you uploaded those files. And so I'm going to click Create. And what that star does is called a wildcard, and that's what WordPress is looking for, is the wildcard DNS, is that it doesn't matter now what you have here before your domain name .com, whatever dot, it's all going to redirect to your domain, and then WordPress will take care of everything else. And so all you need to do is set up this wildcard domain once, the star dot whatever dot com, and it will take care of the rest for you. Now you can click login. and you can log in with whatever your credentials are. And actually it will show you your credentials right here. And now you can go ahead and add products and content to your site.